are back up on Sunshine for another day. I actually have new microphones, super excited about that, so all the audio is going to be turning out a lot better. Um, yeah, today going to kind of warm up on this uh, small little flat bar and uh, probably just start out with some like 180 press, like 360 variations, like cab one, 5.0, back three, uh, front one, switch 5.0, switch back three and uh yeah like from there i'll kind of see how it's feeling and we'll move on and uh maybe hit that c rail that's just down the road there and uh yeah sick let's get set up on the tripod and uh get going sick actually you know what i'll start with the 5 because i think uh i'll just it's a less of a one less hike to do you know what, let's minus another hike. I'm gonna do half cab 5.0. And if I lock it, I'll just go for the three. I just realized I'm wearing my goggles and no helmet. I'm gonna swap that out so I can have peripheral vision. It's better for rails in my opinion to be able to see your feet. Safety first. Got peripheral vision back. Basically gonna start on the first rail and then move down as we go. Maybe I'll sesh the box as well after. We'll see. Yeah, like the lip's a little soft, but that's, it's pretty fun. I'm definitely a hard pack snow type guy myself. Uh, I'll take it. Let's move on to front side 180 to switch 5.0. I already know this will feel weird. Uh, like to be fair, I'm gassed from yesterday. It was like start to finish hiking and today's, yeah, the next day. So if you're watching that video that I just uploaded, this is the day after. Something about that feels like slightly off. That was a clean one, but I feel like I really have to focus on what my body's doing, just for like a front one switch 5.0. But for the cab one version, it's basically on autopilot. I don't really have to like think about it too much. Ah. Oh. Just need to commit with the arms, make it to the end, and just follow through. That's it. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no. You can leave it there. Don't move it. Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry, that's too sorry. No, I'm, I'm hiking this rail in. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit weird. I don't know why people just grab other people's stuff, especially camera setups. Um, yeah, I feel nice. I might uh, move on to the next rail. I'm thinking the C rail only because uh, that box is going to be such a hike like I would have to at least hike up to there from like down there just to hit that so I'm going to do the C rail and uh, I don't know I'm kind of thinking back tail back tail would feel pretty good I think let's do it yeah. Name, bro? I'm Josh. Josh? Ben. Ben, nice to meet you. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. You live in town or? No, I'm up north. I come here all the time, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Where are you from? Grand Prairie. That's where I'm born and raised. Bro. Oh, I, I live here now, but I'm born and raised oh, Grand yeah. Prairie. No way. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Okay, let's just start with a 50 50. Maybe like spin out off of it or something. Whoa. It slid all right. I'm just going to send him back tail. Okay, that's not as uh, scary as I thought it would feel. I haven't actually done a lap yet. Ugh. You know, I did it, but I don't like how I just really dug my toe edge into the landing. So let's try and uh, 
clean it up. I still want to put my toe edge in the landing, but for some reason it just sunk and kind of pulled me into a turn. So let's try and fix that. This one's for the audience. I'm just gonna put it down. Ah, I'm sorry guys. Hello. I've got it all. It's underscore border. Underscore border. <laughs> yeah, so I like the way I pulled back that one. It's kind of just like I let the tail sag and then smack the nose. Felt nice, hit my brain the right way. So I'm thinking we'll do a 5 0 front three and then move to the next rail. It'll be sweet. So good. It's like warm, but not too warm. Could remove the base layer, especially because I'm hiking too. I got the back tail. I'm gonna try 5 0 front three, I think, and then move on to the next rail. Which will probably be the drop rail, I'm thinking. And then kind of just want to do like both back blunt same ways. Keep it going until the trick's got. It's so cool! So cool! <laughs> How's the easiest way to get to the end of this? Front lip? Um, what stance are you? Regular. Regular? Probably like a back nose slide. Back nose? Yeah, and you kind of like lean into it. Oh. So like as you feel comfortable, like just lean more. <laughs> I feel a little more each time. Yeah. Like seriously though, that's like the best way to work into it though. Yeah, I did the same thing with back tail. Like I barely got on, then yeah. slightly got on a bit more until like I felt comfortable to just put all the weight there. Yeah. I don't want to hurt myself, so I'm going to figure out the easiest way to warm it up. And that's just break it down as much as I can. Yeah. I was right there. Ugh. Oh no, <laughs> too much on the inside. Oh. Dude, it's, it's there. Oh. So I'm getting that pressure on my back leg. It's like I'm doing a one-legged squat, but I'm not acting upon it when I get to the end of the rail. I need to use that squat on my back leg to push that front three, it'll go. Ah! Just because I'm tired and I wanna hit a different rail, I'll just land it right now. All I have to do is land it, so let's just land it. Yeah! No way. Two for two. Nice. Hell yeah. All right. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna move on to the drop rail. We did it. For the 5-0 front three. So let's move on to the next one. The uh, drop rail. Right there. Look at that. We uh, got the 5-0 front three on the C rail. The spin out was just a little bit like tough for me today. Feeling a bit sore from yesterday. So um, yeah, I just took what I could get because I don't want to get stuck in any battles today. I just want to, I want to keep it fun because I don't do it too much. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I got the spin good enough. Could have been better. It felt like when I landed, my foot wanted to like turn like the binding while the board wasn't turning. <laughs> that was a bit weird, but it didn't, so that's cool. So let's um, get a back blunt same way first, and then move on to a switch back blunt same way. If it slides well, maybe I'll go for like a switch lip slide switch up to 270 out, but I don't want to get my hopes up. If it's not sliding well enough, then I'll just uh, stick with the back blunt same way, because 
it's uh it's a little bit safer to do that especially on a drop rail if it's sticky you never know you never know what could happen let's get into it um i'll start with the back blunt same way and then i'm gonna swap the camera angle and uh see if i can get the switch back blunt same way looking clear let's let's give this a shot first try i'll take it um since that happened I'll try something different from so I can get it on this angle. What could be cool? Maybe a switch backboard pretzel. Just while we're here, it's set up for the right angle. And uh, it's basically the same trick. So I know it won't be too hard. Ah. I didn't quite lock in. I need to like lean over the rail a little bit more. That way I'll have more pressure on my back leg to like phew, spring that. Let's move this camera angle and do that the other way around. I did technically do it. I might review the clip, but I would like to uh, not be, you know, sagged as much. I want to keep my switch nose up. At by the end of the rail if you know what i mean yeah we're gonna do one more quick one it's a little sloppier than i was hoping not sloppy i just when you look at it i get on and then like sag down i want to get on and keep it up you know what i mean so one more try we'll get it that was scary i did what i wanted to do technically by keeping my back foot up by the end of the rail but it was too high up and uh, I kind of came off early so when I spun it was just it was open for edge catch I didn't but you know when it's coming close you know scares you for sure it was like as proper as I could do it could have steed it out more obviously but it was very proper and it ticked that little thing in my brain so I'm taking it um, now I'm thinking I come up switch lip and then do a switch up the same direction to a back tail and then keep it going and 270 out It may not look like it, but I'm sweating bullets right now and I'd like to remove some layers, but let's get this trick first. Take some layers out, move on to the down flat down, or we'll do a backboard pretzel and then move on to the down flat down. And yeah. There we go. All right, on to the next trick. That felt good. Nice and locked in. Clean switch up, clean 270 out. So let's get a backboard pretzel. And that's it for this drop rail. We can move on. Uh, I should bring my Apple watch on the hill just to count the steps while I film these videos. It must be thousands, easily. That was a really good backboard, but the way I got into it, there was like kind of just nothing I could do about changing what my body could do off the end of the rail. So just went with the flow. That felt nice. This is my second time session this rail. First time was at the Edmonton uh, Stadium Rail Jam. Uh, it was pretty sweet. I'm pleased with that. Let's move on to the down flat down. The drop rail was successful. I was able to roll away with uh, 
Back one, same way. Switch back one, same way. Backboard pretzel, switch backboard pretzel. And switch lip, switch up, same way. That makes me happy. If we move on to the down flat down, I'm thinking switch from board, maybe pretzel it. Um, and then uh, what else could we do? Oh, I'd like to do a front one on, cab two to the down. Whether I pull it back or not, I think that would feel pretty cool. And I might start with the front one on cab two to the down, only because I haven't hit this rail yet today and safer to 50 a rail first time than go sideways. Keep jumping like too much or too little and then slowly correcting it to exactly where I need to be. Uh. All right, Let's see where this back 180 is at. Dude! Oh my god, dude! My binding loosened before I hopped. Dude, <laughs> dude. When I pop, like, I came out like 10 clicks. Yeah, dude, I can hear it. When I shat my pants getting onto that rail. I was like, I really hope my foot doesn't actually lift up. Yeah. Dude. with the back one switch back lip pretzel uh, so I didn't get much footage of the attempts I was just stuck in a battle it's not what I want to be doing especially with that trick it's not really one that is worth the battle so I don't know I rolled away from one where I kind of sogged off the end but did the 270 out and I'll count that for the day other than that that was a good time and if you stayed to the end of the video Thank you so much and keep doing your best. <laughs>